She pull up, hop out, then she swerve Do your two-step, your little cat won't make it work Make it work, Jill Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in and today we have another H&M haul. It's gonna be a small haul but I think there's a good amount of variety so let me go ahead and show you what I got. For this video I'm just gonna talk about the pieces I got and what I think of the quality and the size and the fit. I will do a styling video at a later time so make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit that notification bell so that you get that notification of when I do upload it. If you're saying to yourself like hey this looks familiar it is because this is the same exact style of the pink one that I was wearing just before. So I got it in beige just because it's a neutral color and I love the styling of this knit so I just got it in the beige as well. I know I would get a lot of use of this top so that's why I did get it in two colors. It is a very comfortable top and I do love the puff detailings here. I think it's just so very feminine. And I can't say no to a top I know I'm going to get a lot of use of. A lot of you will love this top. It's just a very easy, versatile top. It feels a little bit casual but then you can also elevate it and dress it up. So this is a really good knit to add to your wardrobe. So I got this trench because of its color. I thought this was such a beautiful color. Color. It may read a little bit more green on camera. This is a more darker tan color. It's great for those of you who are afraid of wearing lighter colored trench coats. Some of you might be afraid of getting a light colored trench coat dirty. This is a great option. I've been really into the darker colored trench coats. I just got myself a black one from H&M. It's very similar to my Totem trench coat. Same styling buttons. It's just a really great dupe. If you're interested in that, I'll leave a link to that video on top here. It does come in a khaki color as well. This trench coat is between a light to medium weight so it's very comfortable. Perfect for spring. It has a flap on the side here. Tortoise color buttons. I like that this trench coat hits mid calf. The longer trench coats could be harder for a lot of us where it can get in the way whether or not you're coming in and out of the car or if you're walking up the stairs it can just drag on the floor. Very easy to wear as well. Getting this sweatshirt was like hitting the lottery. I was stalking this shirt for so long. If you come across this in your size, then just grab it because it always sells out. I'm usually not into graphics. I love the graphic on this one. It says Paris here. Classic white sweatshirt with just very minimal printing in the front. This is just so easy to wear with everything. The sweatshirt trend is just so big. It's also very versatile in terms you can wear it like this or you can wear it over the shoulders. I am wearing the extra small although the small would fit as well. I feel like everyone needs like a cream color sweatshirt. If you have one already, great. If you don't, then I would suggest this one just because I just love the graphic details of this. When I saw this, I just felt Wow, this looks so vintage. I gotta get it. I love the alternating pattern on this with the big stripes, little stripes, big stripes, little stripes. I think it's just a very chic pattern and I love that it's blue and cream. It would go perfectly with a denim. It has a rib detailing as well. Very comfortable, of course. I'll probably also wear it with a maxi skirt, my cargo jeans. Ugh, I can't wait. This cardigan here was just so hard to get and I still couldn't even get it in my size. This is a size medium. I couldn't get my hands on the small. I'm just gonna give up stocking this one in a size small just because it's taking so much of my time. I'm just gonna go ahead and keep the medium. This is a medium weight knit so the quality is actually very good for the price. Here's the close-up of the knit. Love that it's with the gold detailing. These little pockets here are just so cute. Unfortunately they're not real pockets but that's okay. This cardigan is just so nice. It reminds me of the Celine knits. If you're able to grab one, good for you. If not, then definitely try to keep looking out for it because with H&M, a lot of people do the returns just because of the size and fit. If you love this, then good luck. H&M does the KS top so often and very well at a really good price point. This is one of their newest ones. What attracted me to this one is the black trim along the neckline. It just gives me the whole Parisian vibes that I've been really leaning towards to. Very happy with this knit. I love the bell sleeves here. Here's a close-up of the rib detailing. I would definitely wear this with black trousers and a black belt with the gold details. Also with some ballet flats or with a pair of loafers. 
And this one has a blazer style, which I really love. It's a oversized overcoat. This jacket is medium to heavyweight. It is perfect for the weather now and into spring. It has a very subtle striped detail with tortoise buttons here. Two pockets in the front and one pocket by the lapel. Very light shoulder padding here to give it a little bit more structure for this oversized fit. Ballet flats are still a big trend for the upcoming spring season and so I found two on H&M's website. I found a nude one and a black one. And these are 100% leather for a very good deal. These are a size 6 and they fit me the best. I normally wear a size 6.5. I also tried on the size 7 which was just way too big. So this was the best fit for me. Look how cute these little bow details are. Let me try these on so you can see what they look like. H&M also has a super uber cheap ballet flat. I think these were like $20. These are vegan leather, so they're not real. You can definitely tell that there's a difference in terms of quality between this and the real leather one. This one just sits a little bit more flatter when you're wearing it. It's still a really good shoe if you want ballet flats, but you don't want to spend too much on it. This runs a whole size bigger if you are interested. I'm a size six and a half, and this is a size six, and it just feels like a whole size bigger. So just something to make a note of. Here's a close-up of the details. The shoe still has a very cute bow detailing. The difference is that this is made out of a fabric rope with some wax coating it looks like and the other one is just 100% leather. Otherwise still very cute for a very good deal. That concludes today's video and if you enjoyed the video please hit that like button it will really help my channel out. My name is Ying for those of you who are new I do fashion and lifestyle content so if you're interested in either of those please consider subscribing to my channel and I hope to see you in the next one. Thanks so much have a good day bye. Wonder if all my bad decisions get accounted in the algorithms. No statistician could dissuade me from my bigger vision. I know my occupation's quite an unlikely place in this world to occupy and talk.